Hello everybody, it's JT here, back with another video of engraving file access. Today I will show you how you can engrave a text like this on a file access machine. Uh, this one is uh, not very complicated, it's pretty simple. The one, only the one in here that, you know, a little bit uh, harder to do because um, you don't want the tool or the tool holder uh, hit the part, hit the surface, the inside surface here. So it's a little bit uh, harder to do, but it, you know, you can do it using a point there to control. But basically it's called like a tilt point where you control the tool past the tool so it doesn't hit your part so let's see here let's do the easier one first right all right so the on top one here it's easier but i still use a five axis to pass to do this so let's show you Fit and speed, and you do whatever you do there. Let's see, go in here. All right, so this is important right here that you have to do, of course, surface, and you do a projection. Projection is the tech that you want to project to engrave with, and it will project that tech on the surface, right? So this is where the surface is gonna, gonna be this top surface here, right? And projection is all the text right here, okay? And mass projection distance, you can put, I put 50, but I think you can put like 50, 100, uh, just figure it out, put it some number in, but I would say at least 50. That's a start point, and then you can adjust if the way it works doesn't you know it doesn't work the way that you want and then you can change it this is on how deep the tech is cutting it uh, i want to cut center of the two so i put center there two axis five axis and this one right here i choose this because you want the two cut the the teal axis you know like relatively to the, the two center to to the two direction or the two center and this what I do and I think it work best um, lead angle to cut three axis teal angle uh, you don't want to put too much here I would say somewhere about from three I mean from two or from three to like five seven eight or something like that but it's not necessarily always like that okay because you might have to play with it you put the number in you try it and see if it works for your machine or not and then you adjust it for me for this part i think this is okay it work good enough and then you can uh, see here let's uh, render that one and you can see right there the two teal a little bit there I don't give it a lot so um, it only teal three five degrees in between there I think I'm not very good with five axis yet I you know I don't do this every day. I don't do this every frequently. So, I mean, with this program, probably this is the first time I make this kind of program. All right, so let's go to the next one. This one is kind of harder to, to do because you have to figure it out how you control the tool and the holder so it doesn't crash on your part. This is what I did. Fit and speed the same thing, right? 
Okay, uh, this is the same thing too. Surface, projection curve, um, center, everything the same. But this is important right here. Cost is still 5 axis, but I do tilt through point. And then I have to pick the point that I tilt it from. This is right here. Right there, like that. Oh, it wasn't there. So maybe this one. Okay. I think it will be fine either way. Maybe I move it somehow. But I think it should be fine. Oh, now I have to select again. Okay, let the book click it. Two point seven eight, and that's the right one. Pick seven eight, yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Redo it. Okay. Well, I'm back again to this. Is this is how I control that tool, right? So it doesn't hit anything. And again, this teal point here, you have to create it and then make sure you put it the play that where you turn it work best for you. And then the teal angle here, I think for this part, uh, you can put somewhere from, I would say somewhere from 70, 75 degree to 100 to 125 because you don't want to put too small. You don't have a lot of room. Let's try this and see what it looked like. Okay. As you can see, it's very low down there and you don't want that. it probably clear but it's very dangerous so I would not do like that therefore I put it in a hundred no I think 75 still be okay you can see it much better it's just safer for you so again now uh, you might have to try here and there and see what degree that you know it work best for you but the important thing is this point right here that where you control the tool uh, if let's say if the tech go a little bit deeper you might have to go this to, to move this point in a little bit as long as it at your tool holder doesn't touch the part and then you will be fine so let's render it and see how it look like both of them As you can see it's you that point to control that two holder the two pass so i still have some room right here see All right, you can see it look good right there. Both of them doesn't crash to anything. Let's turn this one on and see. This one I turn on when I want to see if it hit anything. It will alarm out. It will, you know, give you alarm or error or something like that so you can catch it before you really run the part so but that look good let's render with the machine this is a kuma for m i mean by axis i think 460 right yeah 460 till down okay everything clear
see, go pretty deep in there, but still okay and again. So when you do something like that, you might have to use the two holder that, you know, fit best. You don't want the big holder in there. And uh, even if you have this part like smaller, tighter room, and then you might even have go smaller or something that you can, you know, uh, you work with and it, it work for you. Uh, machine seam, when you have a machine seam on like this, it's better too when you do a full file access like this so you can see uh, if it touch anything, crash to something. So it's it a good way to verify your program. Um, hope you guys like it. And I mean, there's more than one way you can do this. But I think with this part, with this program particularly, I think control to a point would be, you know, best. But, you know, if you know something else or if you uh, something that work for you and then yeah you know feel free to do it your way um hope you guys like it and uh, make sure you spread the word so other people can see it mm. like my video comment again comment or whatever you want out there and spread the word so other people can see my video and then they can learn something with me too I mean, uh, you may not believe it, but this is the first time I make a program, something like this. I mean, I have never run anything like this, but so I never make a program like this, but this is the first time. Mm. I mean, it, it takes me a little bit of time to play here and there and see what best. And this is what I came up with, and it seemed like, it work okay so hope you guys like it and see you guys next time uh, remember subscribe to my channel turn on notification so other you know like my video so other can see it and then see you guys next time goodbye now